Good Friday morning to you, August 12th. I'm Susan Hendricks in today for Robin Mead. And we start with new now to former President Donald Trump saying he will not oppose unsealing documents related to the FBI search at Mar-a-Lago. Eight year old boy and his family. Federal prosecutors in New Hampshire say that the suspect went as far as putting GPS trackers on the family's vehicles, even walked around their house at night. Several times he was there. Welcome back. Developing this morning, homemade baby food with store bought produce may contain just as many toxic metals as the baby food you buy at the store. Researchers in a new study this is not only bad, it's also illegal too. Well, there's that part. Yeah, Good yeah. morning, Good morning, Susan. Yeah, there's been a lot of reaction to these videos. It's very public. Yeah, I saw a clip of it and I didn't realize it was several years ago. Right. And saying we decided as a family seems bizarre and illegal, as you said, Melissa. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. The Justice Department now pushing to unseal search warrants related to that FBI search on Mar a Lago. What former President Trump has to say about it? The NBA is honoring the life of the late Bill Russell by retiring his number across the league and expected and wow they're honoring him in so many ways Andy good to see you. yeah good morning Susan so you know this is I want to tell you about an expanding recall one company is doing this with 30 types of drinks they say could make you sick and Jen this is serious oh it really is and, and these are drinks that I mean I think you've probably seen them even if you haven't bought them you've seen them at the super Bowl. they call this an elaborate corporate pirouette known as the Texas two-step <laughs> okay, we'll leave it at that. You're right. If we tried to explain it, it's so yeah. elaborate. Oof. Jen, thanks. Good to see you. Now to